Hey guys, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out BB's Best Lover and 88 Rising. That just means it's under 88 Rising, but BB has been absolutely killing it these days um, with her music and her live performances and just everything that she's been doing. Um, so I'm excited to be checking out this new track from her. I know she's gonna be at Head of the Clouds. Uh, I'm not going because it's the same like a weekend as 17 or it's like it's on the weekend and then as since I went to like Fort Worth 317 it's like on a Tuesday or something like that um so cannot financially afford that at all um but but hopefully one day I can go to Head in the Clouds if they have a super killer lineup um I mean their lineups have, oh, have generally been really really dope and stuff but um yeah sometimes I mean the plan before that's the thing it's like for festivals sometimes they release the tickets before they announce who's showing up, so like I don't want to buy a ticket if I don't know who's going. You know what I mean? Or like, what if like what if I what if I know only three of them? Would it be worth it? Um, even though for eighty, I know more than three people. Uh, even signed to the label and regularly listened to. Um, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean and stuff. So like it was like after they released like everybody and like or not everybody, but they released like the main lineup and then they released the date of it. I was just like, God damn. Because 17 uh, already bought my tickets for. I was lucky, I was fortunate and stuff. Um, but I, <laughs> I'm excited to be checking this out either way. Uh, she also did Coachella, that was really, really dope. Uh, I hope she did Weekend with a verse from Yumi Ray. I wish they would release that because Yumi Ray's verse was killer. And girl, she's a queen, she's an icon, she is, yes. Um, but yeah, and she's also performing, Yumi Ray also performing at uh, Head of the Cloud. So hope you have fun. Tell me about it later. I'll feel the FOMO, don't you worry. Um, but I'm excited to be checking this out so you know when it let go. That was a long, I'm sorry, I hit my tripod. That was the longest intro about nothing. What is this though? So it's like old. Oh, it's creepy. Let's see what they're going for. Old. Old Mac OS. Ooh! Yeah, the editing's fun. If BB's something, she's always a visual. Twitch? I don't think I've seen Twitch, but it makes sense. The makeup, though. I love that fun editing. Oh. Oh. There's a lot of money put behind this. Yeah, the editing's super sick. I mean, lyrics are very BB. What is with the dog though? Like what was that? I didn't even read what all those said. They all said the same thing. That's it, that's the length of the song. Baby White gave me short songs all the time. That was really, really dope though. I really like the track, I think it's really dope. The lyrics feel very, very baby. Um, so yeah, and essentially she was part of the writing of it, so that definitely makes sense. Or yeah, music written by um, Baby. So I really enjoyed it though. I thought it was really, really sick. Like the video itself, it's doing that sort of mid 2000s computer 
glitchy graphic effect to it and it was done really really well just the way the editing completely plays around with it um which you know we've definitely seen that from um in a lot of different k-pop videos before um or like just like the sort of media editing sort of because it takes so much time and so that's probably why i don't see it a lot done in like western media or cgi done to that sort of level um but seeing like it's very interesting to see when you get music videos that are a fusion of like a western influence and also like a korean influence because i feel like that's like this magical sort of sweet spot that we get like the balance of both like jackson wayne's blow like girl speaking of 88 rising i mean right girl um i don't know just for some like there's just some sort of even though K-pop is very much, the music video is very much influenced by what was happening in the West, um, you know what I mean? The fusion of like both techniques are so, so interesting. And they just make for these insane music. Like, I was speechless, girl. Like, I, like <laughs> what? I just like couldn't. I was just like, what? Um, became speechless for once in my life. Um, but she absolutely killed it. Excuse me. I, I'm not tired of BB. I'm just, I, I just don't have a good sleep schedule. Um, and the song was very very great i mean again lyrics sound very very bb and stuff which you know i feel like weekend was a good little little ease into like bb and stuff you know what i mean just you, you know what i mean um so i mean this was also a great follow-up for them this is just screams her all around um and just editing was thinking and how it sort of you know is, is going to you know you know girl i'm gonna say it but i'm not gonna say it because i mean I think it was pretty obvious with the editing what they were going for um but just the sort of like just everything about it was so so cool and it took so so much time to get all these different visual elements and just all this crazy craziness that's happening with the video production like that's just really really dope that was really sick i really like to see stuff like this um because like for one you also have like the live action stuff getting bb then they had to make like cgi bb you know what i mean that takes a lot of time it was just a lot of time a lot of effort put behind it and it was absolutely wonderful it was like it was very much well worth it all the video production editing for that stuff and also just because when you have this quality cgi like that even though it does look it, it's supposed to look cheesy and weird right because it's supposed to be pulling from like a 2000s era of technology that was not advanced at all to where we are these days um so of course it's, it's meant to look that weird and stuff but to see something that sort of looks cheap and like not high quality you know what i mean to sort of see something like that in like a music video that actually kind of looks expensive and literally they put a lot of money into it because of that is a very weird place um you know what i mean it's it's a little strange you know to be in that position to be like in that place of just being like oh like by today's standards of how we have cgi and graphics and stuff like that it looks kind of shitty and looks like previous technology and all this other stuff but but it's also makes the video production higher it's so it's, it's such an interesting case but it does and i absolutely loved it i thought the video was absolutely insane it was really really dope i think the track was really dope too as well i love bb i think she's just killing it and it's another one another one she killed so yeah it's going to put your thoughts and comments below to that about bb's best lover if you like this video video thumbs up if you like to me you want to see more of my videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see my videos the second they come out hit that notification button if you want to follow me on social media twitter instagram such at tiktok or description down below at the end screen shows videos your friends thank you guys so much for watching love you and i'll tell you guys later bye you only call me on the way.